Hello and welcome, I'm Kings, and we're back with some more Final Fantasy XV. Alright. Currently going to find this quest that is just apparently over here on the wayside. Looks like it's a fishing quest again. Uh, I'm not really sure I want to do a fishing quest. I do know that there's a, uh... Oops. Uh, there's a quest down this way, and then, uh, relatively close by, there's a main storyline quest. And holy shit, that's a big-ass alligator. Don't think I want to tangle with that thing quite yet. Maybe sometime in the future. But, uh, so yeah. Maybe we can get a, uh, another sword. Imperials above us! Thanks. It's always Imperials above us. But yeah, another, uh, royal sword. That'd be pretty cool. So far, I haven't really found them to be useful, but... What do I know? Hey, you think that's the delivery van? Is that uh -oh. the delivery van? This is big ass bees. Nice ride. I don't like bees. Ah, oh, camera! Sometimes camera angles are so so crazy. Oh, one more. Is that it? All right, nice. All right, you hate bucks. Me? Yeah, can't stand them. Same can I? Icky. Icky, now they're just... Yeah, icky. Right. <laughs> That's pretty Don't much the right word. Delivery. Don't want to spoil the spoils. Okay, so why that truck is this far off off-roading, I have no idea. Probably don't want to know. But, uh, yeah, I think the mount system in this game Easy is probably now. one of the best mount systems I've ever seen in a game. Um, yeah, it's like they, they, they teleport almost next to you pretty much and they always come right to you it's not like you know witcher 3 where you know the horses get completely stuck have no idea what they're doing uh so i think you know and you know like uh, elder scrolls where the horse dies every two seconds that crap is annoying it's pretty annoying <laughs> uh to say the least so yeah i really enjoy the mount system uh, it also gets uh, you to spend some of your money, so you're not just racking up money continuously. You are spending the money, but it's not an outrageous price. You know, you're renting the chocobo for like 350 bucks for seven days, and it's seven in-game days. So just whenever you you know you hit like two to three days, and the next time you're next to a chocobo rental uh, station, you just go and rent it. You know, no big deal. Okay. Let's get cracking. Okay, crack it. I want some ore. I'm sure our boss Dino would appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> yeah, that's not weird at all. All right, let's kill these uh, bees while we're here. They're kind of in my way. Ah! Wow, that was embarrassing. Yeah, it was because the camera angle was all jacked. Allow me. What's this? The game is up. Okay. Stay down. Brilliant. No big deal. All right, that should be it. Let's go get this treasure uh, that's sitting over here. I always go after them because uh, they could have a rare item. I've or not rare item, but a higher level item than what you currently have. Uh, it's happened to me once so far. So always go and try to find them. Is it on top of the rock? It's probably on top of the rock. Choke ham armor. Not really sure what that is, but it sounds like it's pretty good. So let's see what it actually does. Reinforced sniff him mode suit made suit that uh, resists bullets, reducing ballistic damage. Mm, this is better than my current one. I don't know. I, I think I like the one I currently have. Ooh, I need to have more magic. So let's put the, let's create some magic here real quick. I like lightning. I'm not really sure what this is. I think it like changes the type or what it does by adding different stuff to it. Not really sure what that's going to do, but craft it see what happens that and another thing is that you only get three I find that kind of weird that you only get three uh, things of magic every time you craft something but 
Oh well. Okay, so let's find this ore that we need. It's probably up not on the mountain. Overhead. They're always overhead. Why are they not overhead? Okay. So we're looking for sapphires. Supposedly. If I had to be a sapphire, where would I be? Probably that somewhere over here. Can skin a fish alive. Pulling away from a bite only makes it worse. So the moral of the story is don't get bit. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. Allow me. The Prince of Pain. Yep. Let's clean him up quick. Alright. Come on, go down. I like my daggers. And these are the daggers. These are the same daggers that I found uh, as uh, as the item just not laying on the ground. But I can I can't buy them. I bought them for uh, Ignis. Uh, when I was at a shop. So now Ignis has the same same daggers. Ooh, what the heck is this? Better than good. Good to go. This has to be it. Like, come on. Is this seriously not it? No, this is it. All that's left yeah, is about to say delivery. Jesus. Like, I've never seen that anywhere in the game besides those other ones but they're only like little like pockets of that that's like a big mountain of it all right chocobo always call your chocobo always besides maybe when you're in like a town but besides that always call your chocobo they're fast and they can always get you out of danger and so most of the time that i really even when danger appears i just keep yelling you know <laughs> they can't outrun my chocobo anyway they, they can't catch up to my chocobo yeah, the more you ride your chocobo, the more you level up uh, your chocobo. Um, like, level 2, I think, uh, creates it so you can actually uh, have it help in battle for, like, a short period of time. And the higher level you uh, get your chocobo up, the longer it, it stays in battle and the more stamina it gets. So the more sprint you can use, the faster the chocobo goes. It's pretty cool. Mine's a level 5 right now. I'm not sure what the max level is. I don't know what the max level is on anything in the game so far. Um... Especially for those skills, like those uh, hobby skills, I think is what they're called. So, I don't, I don't know the max level on those. I'm guessing it's 10, 20, 100 maybe. Totally. So, those alligators over there again. I think I'm heading to the car. Um, let's figure out where we need to go before we just randomly roll. I do want to go do this main storyline quest. Uh, I want to see if there's anything relatively close. Mm, nope, it looks like Main Star Line Quest isn't where we're going to be going. Sweet. So there's no point in going back to the car since that's as far as it'll let us go. Us. Thanks. Oh no, Imperials above us. They're just going to die. They're just more of a nuisance than they are anything else. If you guys have, haven't noticed, I uh, I colored all my guys' chocobos different colors. Prompto is uh, red, and Gladys is green, and Ignis is the blue. I still like the white, you know. I actually... Uh, gave the Regalis a paint job as well. It's white, too. See? It's right there. So, yeah. White on white on white. I like white. I'm not racist, I swear. Okay. So this is going to be a long run, but it's still faster than walking. I probably could actually get in the Regalis, and it'll probably take me up like right next to it, but I don't want to turn around. That, and if you're on a road or in a town, you can always fast travel to where your car is. Which I kind of find funky, but Another I don't mind it. This is not normal. Yeah, and another thing, uh, my character does is still having headaches. Uh, if you guys remember in the last episode, my guy like, saw that vision and had a headache. Um, they have that conversation every once in a while. I don't know why, but they do. So how about a breather? Oh, discover a new outpost. Why isn't it on the minimap? Oh, huh, it's weird. Usually it would show the little symbol on the ah, minimap that it's an outpost. Breeze feels good. Indeed. I might actually have to go down. I think I'm gonna have to go down. Right here. Because you can't jump from on really high spots. You can jump from high spots if the game will let you, and you can take fall damage, but um, a lot of times it just won't let you jump off. So just hoping that this is the right way and not, you know, me just being completely retarded. 
probably me being completely retarded, but whatever. What the? There's some giant animals in this game, and most of them, they look super scary and I don't want to mess with. But is it really going to make me mess with it? Why can't I go around? I really don't want to mess with this giant snake that's probably going to kill me. And I can't save it. Run away! Another thing is your, uh... Your animals can glide, too, so... And they can't go in the water. How should we do this, Noct? I don't know, I'm stuck on the water. Whatever. Let's just kill Not him. Helpful. So as you guys can see right there, I actually was able to control uh, the choke ball for a split second. And do an extra pair on point of damage. Sometimes it's millennium. Sorry there we go. Break this up. That's crossing the line. Sorry. Nice He's sorry for yep. I am getting better with the dodging. Took me a little bit to get used to the combat system, but next one. Once you do it, you know, for a while, you kind of get the hang of it. Alright, so this is the waterfall that the sword's supposedly behind. It's apparently a treasure over here. Where is it at? It says it's right down here. Another thing about the game that I kind of don't like is that there's a lot of invisible walls. Like, everywhere. Really get it. And your guy can't swim. That's another thing. So there's invisible walls all along the water. Yeah, it's just a weird, some type of weird game mechanics. The legend says to look behind the waterfall. What does the waterfall say? I think it says, come in. Pretty sure it says there's nothing back here. <laughs> you know it. An entrance. Looks like the legend checks out. <laughs> this place gives me goosebumps. Double back for our coats? What's the point? Little Joe won't kill you. <laughs> then you don't need to double back. I can put your coat back on. I think he actually uh, has his coat on. That's the coat version. Monsters like war. Ah, sorry. So my guy's chilling. I wonder if I actually put the the the, the outfit with the jacket on, will he still freeze? Put I mean, this is on too. I think his doesn't also have a jacket. But everyone else has a jacket, even though <laughs> even though uh, Promptu doesn't have it doesn't look like he's wearing a jacket. It's actually the one with the jacket. This is the one without the jacket. Uh, I can't put that one on, but it's just too emo for me. And it doesn't. There's not any more clothing on it anyway, so. But what if they're frozen? Encased in ice. And there's our warm welcome. Uh huh. Well, here we are. They're on the same page. Huh. None of my weapons are doing much damage. Farewell. Actually, none of them are doing. Uh, they're doing actually reduced damage. All three of them. Slip sliding shoes. What could possibly go wrong? I might have to switch over to oh uh, Javelin. Say your prayers. These guys. Let's get it over with. Demons love deep pits. It's not weird at all. Oh, these are imps. They're not goblins. What is that laser thing? Not sure what Ignis is doing. An ice cream headache. <laughs> okay. Like, an I, like a brain freeze type of thing. Yep. Mm -hmm. I really hope we didn't come here for nothing. I'm sure there's something if we again. Really. Uh. Just took some fall damage. What the heck is this? Uh, 
You guys finally getting down here? Oh, double hit. Uh-oh, I'm frozen. I think she has me petrified. What are you, Medusa? Okay, she's dead. Whew. Onward. Right. Onward. Okay. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, guys. Hopefully in the next one we can actually continue. And uh, hopefully we get another cool blade. Alright, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, give me a like and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.